Hello, welcome to Mr B's ukulele channel. Please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy watching. This is the tutorial for supercalifragilisticexpialidocious written by the Sherman Brothers in 1964 for the film Mary Poppins of course. And um, I've got a special guest this Friday joining me for the sing-along so do join us all for that. And uh, it's my first international collaboration in fact so very exciting and do make sure you catch that coming this Friday. Super kind of fragilistic, it's me and atrocious Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious Super kind of fragilistic, it's me and atrocious Okay, uh, this piece I've marked as a level 4 piece. It's not too difficult really, but it's very fast. So it's quite tricky and it's very easy to put the wrong chords in the wrong places and strip over the chords slightly. Uh, the chords aren't too difficult, ones we're probably familiar with quite well. So uh, we're just going to go through the chords now, have a look at the strumming pattern and then do a bit of a playthrough and uh, just uh, talk about what to look out for as you go through this very fun, very fast and uh, enjoyable song. Okay, so we've got the chords first of all. Let me just go through the different chords you'll need. We need an F, a D7. Don't forget to bar the whole second fret for the D7. Uh, a normal C, a D minor. Not sure about the D minor. One and second finger there, top two strings, D minor. G7 We'll also need an A7 And I think that's all of them So uh, let me talk you through the strumming that we're going to do with that And I'm just going to do a really nice fast paced Down up, down up, down up, down up All the way through that Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Just like that Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious And you can see straight away how it fits together So you just need to keep that rhythm going all the way through And you can play around with the tempo Make it faster and slower in different parts of the song uh, As you enjoy singing that So let's have a look at how that all fits together I'm just going to give you a nice steady uh, walk through the whole piece So it starts off with the main uh, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious <laughs> Right, so that's straight on the F into the D7. So we go down, up, down, up to the C. Down, up, down, up. So F, down, up, down, up on the D7. And then C in D minor, down, up, G7, down, up, C. And I just do two single down strums on the C at the end. So it's F, D7, C, C. D minor, G7, C, C. And that's your introduction. Then we start the song. You do a nice sort of pause. It's then the C. Supercalifragilistic, X, B, A7, L, E, G7, Docious. Second line. I'll stay on the G7. Even though the sound of it is something quieter. Back to the C. Trocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll C7 Always sound pre F Cautious Then a repeat of the introduction Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Exactly the same as we did before Then the umdiddle in the MWI And we do a C to G7 for that And I just do that twice, although in the song they do it four times Umdiddle in the MWI Umdiddle in the MWI B, C, cause I was afraid to speak when A7 I was just a lad on G7 there Me father gave me nose a tweak and told me I was back to the C Bad, but then one day I learned a word that C7 is Ate my aching nose on the F The D, biggest word you ever heard And D7, this is how it goes on the G7 it's back to the C. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That was A7 to G7 there. Even though the sound of it is something quite a C. Trocious. Stay on the C. If you say it loud enough, you'll C7. Always sound free. F. Cautious. Back to the, the beginning. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. 
and then the song just repeats through all the different choruses and verses on that and then at the very end um, I just finish with the uh, singing Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious and then once more as an ending and that's the whole song so it's it's very fast and furious and there's a lot going on but actually the strumming is really easy it's pretty much just two, two uh, strums on each chord and you've just got to be familiar with the chord progressions that we're doing in this one there aren't any really difficult chords in it it's just quite fast and you just got to pick your way carefully through it but it's a great song a lot of fun i do hope you enjoy that one <laughs>